What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are finally back in Wreckfest for the Gauntlet 2.0. It has been a little while. We had to take a minute to mentally prepare for this monstrosity that is about to occur, a 25-track marathon, and it all starts here at Talladega. Why waste any more time? Well, hopefully these 90s cars will treat us. Well, this start is treated Dave Marcus. Well, he's going to rock it right by me. And this paint scheme that I've done up to kind of look like the channel colors, and they're going to get scratched up already. Dave Marcus just turned right into a left-hand corner. Doesn't make any sense to anybody. But I guess the turn one meme had to strike us bright and early, and, well, it did. It did exactly that. These parts are blowing off here. We got Daryl Walter with his trunk falling apart. Oh, I was not going to squeeze down the bottom, apparently, on his watch. And now I'm, this is not just any Casey Caning. This is advanced Casey Caning right here. This is bad. There's a car laying in absolute shambles down there. Poor guy. I'm going to be laying in shambles here. His clicking wheel's not helping me turn whatsoever. Please, Dick Brooks, don't come up. What are you doing up and over and into the fence? And down hard on the apron. What a horrific accident. We're down to three wheels. Our first one of the day is Dunzo. Don't mind me. Oh, sorry, Dale. This wall Dale right there. That is my bad. Uh, do not want to get on that apron. That's going to be a bad time. Almost wrecked Landing Castle. I'm sliding all over the place somewhere. I got to get a hold of this thing. Oh, there they go. There goes Rusty and Brennan gone with the squeeze of the century. And there they go couple more of them that is the easiest way to get spots here at Talladega I will take those all day here comes a couple more of them trying to wreck and it castles that he has not had enough we got Quinn Hoof how for I still haven't I still haven't learned how sad is that pathetic oh he's getting loose everybody's checking up Quinn Boyer's not checking up he's taking the high side he said I'll see you boys later he's going around everybody Michael Self said I'm gonna hit the block of the year the Joey Logano School of Blocking right there coming into play. My God. I'm going to lose a boatload of spots here, but I've got to proud of myself. That was a somewhat decent save. The whole pack going by me. Oh, it's anti-neat. And this, this is just compounding on top of that. Right in the door, that one was. Right into my legs. Completely unnecessary. Probably not the best rejoin, but definitely not necessary. Does it count as improvement if you at least got to the line, albeit in 20th? Because we did kind of die last time. That's got to be something resembling improvement. Oh, I'm going to be lucky to not get turned right here. Oh, they might have saved me missing those two cars. And then a mini pack to boot. Hey, Marcus is getting crazy on the start. He's letting it all hang out. He's getting wild. Look at this man. Here's a push. All right, let's see what Dave does in this point. He's going for it. He sends it on the outside. Dave Marcus is my life hero. This man is my spirit animal. He's everything. Look at him go. He just asked back somebody else. Oh, man. Dave Marcus might have said it one too many times. He's going to save it, though, and foul right back in line. I'm going to move self. Big, meaty moves. But I'm running on the apron over here. I'm going to give it all back. And there it goes. Yeah, gee, nice. Neat. Oh, this can only end well. Oh, yeah. Get your popcorn ready for this one. Will we survive is the question. Get a little bit tipped. We lost two of them back there in the wall. Surely that won't be everybody. Come on, you don'ts. I do not like seeing smoke ahead of me. I'm going to get squeezed into the wall right here. Could see that coming from a mile away. And I got a cookie wheel again. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. Dick Brooks getting out of shape. Ready, gone. Don't you come down on me. And he did it anyway, but we're going to be all right. Oh, we might not be all right if I lose it. Oh, why? Why would you do it? There was a whole lane up there for you to use, you jerk. Ah, oh, and now we're just going to get cleaned out. This is the part where I just get annihilated, isn't it? Did I see that coming or what? Is my Wreckfest Sixth Sense just tingling at all times or not? Jesus, not for that guy. Ow. Yeah, I didn't get enough of that. I needed one last punch. That was from Quinn, too. Who's surprised? But this is for our first replay viewing of the day. I thought this would be a good candidate as we just got turned around there and then smacked from every direction. Cars flipping and flying, and we're not done yet because we have an adventure of our own to go on, and that leads us to living with three wheels. Jeff Gordon goes flying by at Mach 7, and we get punched in the mouth. 
Static cam ought to look pretty good. That uh, draw distance is a little rough on the cars at some point, so eventually they phase back in and they look all right. What a tumble that was, though. And then here comes Jeff. Wow. Just flying through there, absolutely cooking. Oh, there's the smoke. They're still slamming on the brakes. What are you doing, man? Looking to have our life still. Some others may not be able to say the same here shortly. And Landon Castle goes up on the wall, doing the Casey Kane. He's driving it too. Look at him ride it. He's gonna go the whole way in the super stretch on it like that. I don't. I, you know what? I gotta respect it. I gotta give it style points. That's a ten. That is ab. Oh no! This is not. This is a zero. This is atrocious. What did I do? What could I have possibly done to deserve this brutality at the hands of the Terminators who have struck once again, just beaten me to smithereens, to shreds? You say? And just like that, we're back in the replay booth to watch another one of my demises as uh, we just got chewed up and spit out of this big one here at the hands of the Wreckfest AI. Our favorite, the 40 car, just ran clean through. We didn't have a break in the world. The Arca brakes installed on all sides, and he gets cleaned out himself down there. We got to see this from the wall angle there. Yeah, he gets sent into a tumble of his own. That is what you get, sir, and land on your roof. Oh, do I see four wide up there? I don't know what that was, but I see John Andretti sideways in the middle of the track. I'm getting packed, and finally I get dumped. And there looked like there were two separate crashes, one ahead of us and one behind us. It doesn't matter, though. I think our race is shot. We're friggin' last. Well, I think this one is officially ruined, so let's just send it into a wall. What the hell? There goes the tire. Tire check, barrel check. Somebody get a life check back here on the super stretch. Is there Bell and Dale? Oh, Bell back right out of it. And they're going at it up here already. Landon Castle back on the fence. And they're flipping up top. Everybody get down. Sorry, 50. We had to get the heck low as fast as we could. And that looks like it may be a pile of. Oh, is it ever back there? A brutal one. Oh, we got a bunch of them piling under the wall up here in front of us. One flipping over the pack. Down to the apron in the grass. And another one riding the fence up there. Is that Marcus Ambrose? We're gonna gain some spots here on everybody else's misfortune. Don't mind if I do. That was ungodly, uncomfortably close. This is gonna be as well. My God, it's a, Jesus, it's the big one. The field just got LePaged. I don't even know what that was, but we're in here in the fight with Greg Sachs. This is for the lead right here. And he just put himself in the fence. He just took himself out. Don't take myself out. We got to win this thing. Final corners now. And of course, there looks like there's some drama up here. But they sort themselves out. Nobody pull up on the track. Please, just a carcass laying down there at the bottom. And we're going to have to get by Dale Sr. as a lap car. Here on the last lap at Talladega. Don't forget about the tri-oval. And we'll come through to collect our first dub of the Gauntlet 2.0. And it feels good to get it. Well, back in the replay booth one more time before we move on to our next track in the Gauntlet. But first, we got to check in on the carnage that was caused and here on that first lap. Turn two accident. You can see cars just tumbling everywhere. This 64 goes for a wild ride hard down on the roof. A couple cars tumbling behind him. Then he fades in and out of reality and just goes tumbling down the track again. Because apparently uh, the world decided he had not had enough. You hate to see it. Then you have this crash up here that took out the leaders or at least some of the lead pack. That allowed us to get up towards the front. We were luckily able to sneak by on the bottom. But yeah, they just got lepaged by the 23 in the car in front of them. And here we have an external view of that crash. You can see they all just piled it up and we fortunately snuck on by to the dub. Well, you knew we had to follow up Talladega with something good and how about another classic track from our past? We're headed back to the farmlands here for stage one. As we roll away here, kind of slowly, surely. I think this is one of the longer stages of the farmlands. I can't quite remember which is longest, but Danica's gonna try and make it over very quick for us. She shoved one of the purple cars off track. Rude. Drag racing up the hill. Oh, Joey Logano, what are you doing, you mad lad? You are gonna get us all killed. I almost ate that tree back there. My God, and I get packed again into the, into the sign. That poor sign never hurt anybody, and we killed him. And we are barely gonna get out alive. 
This is not a good way to gain time. This is definitely not a good way to gain time, and I'm doing nothing but losing time now with this cornering excellence. Embarrassing myself out here and packed again. Oh, there they all go, and that is a massive wreck unfolding behind us, those poor souls. Oh, oh I knew somebody was going to send it right there. I just could feel it. I could hear it, and I could feel it. And I can feel it now, Mr. Krabs. It has come and hit me once again like a ton of bricks. And they're still packing each other back there. I can't even get back on the road. I'm just going to put it in the fence instead. Here's my chance. And here's a pile up. Another one. And we're going to barely squeak through the alley right there. How in the world is Brad Keselowski, my boy? My boy, no! Brad! Brad Keselowski just ended my race. Well, here's the pile up. I don't think I've ever been this emotionally damaged by a race in Wreckfest. But Brad Keselowski, my boy, my number one, he killed me. He completely and utterly, without a shadow of a doubt, made an attempt on my life and killed me, successfully made an attempt on my life. I'm disgusted. I love rocking it, dude, on the inside. Watch out, Kevin. Please don't extend your way across the track, Mr. Conway. I would appreciate that. Oh, me and Rudiman are going to come together, though, and that's the fence all day. That's going to be serious damage. That's cars getting wadded up. And I might not even be able to pull away from this. I think I am stuck, and I think my car is killed. Oh, my God. They've wadded it up here in the same exact spot again. This time, we're not so lucky. Come on, a little drag race here. We got them three wide. Gonna pass them both. Oh, God, it's a hay corner. I always forget about these hay corners. I'm eating hay. Here we go. And I'm not the only one. Packed right into them. And here comes some more. A little extracurricular. There it is. We're actually gonna get kind of a good pull away from that. But I'm bringing one with me, I guess. This is my souvenir. You're gonna get off of me? Get off of me. There it is. All right. Thank you. We're gonna take Rudiman on the outside. He's gonna take us to the wall. And he's not gonna be alone as usual and this is just a massive pileup they should put a sign here corner ahead clearly nobody knows pulling away though that's what counts as long as we've made it away even if we were victimized oh, this car still runs as a modern miracle oh this is a corner that is a corner indeed and i don't think it's gonna run for much longer and that will pretty much do it oh let me squeeze through the hole here that is not letting me squeeze through the hole. That is exactly the opposite of letting me squeeze through the hole. That is closing the hole. I always hate this corner. I never know when to slow down for this corner. Sorry, Kevin. I just had to extend it into his rear end, and then I got one for myself. It's only fair. It all evens out. In the end, get me off of this. Oh, boy. Hold on to it, boys. Hold on. I might have just sent somebody into the trees back there, but I'm too scared to look. If we can get through this corner without dying. I knew somebody was going to send me right there. I should have expected nothing less. And I have just been tossed into a cornfield. Well, this is my life now. I don't know what kind of field this is, but I'm just going to spend my time grazing here like some kind of farm animal. Oh, I'm blocked in out here. I got to go. Oh, this is not the place to go. That's the end of the line. And that is going to end in death. Likely, most likely anyway, as we are, what in God's name is this as we just slam into a fence, but I was getting flopped around. That was crazy looking. Oh, Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill just committed murder. Timmy Hill just decided I wasn't allowed to exist anymore. Damn. That was cold blooded, man. Jeesh. So if you uh, look real closely at the film here, you'll see that Timmy Hill should be arrested and tried and likely convicted for murder because that was just completely obscene. Right in broad daylight, threw me in a tree and said, have that. Oh, he got turned. Stuart Friesen got turned by Donnie. Oh, we just flipped somebody over and here comes the cavalry here. All right. That, uh... That sucked. Don't you ever give me a chance to take it three wide. You know where I'm going with. Oh, Daddy, no, Daddy. Oh, I hit Daddy. This is gonna, oh God. I am in the air. This is not good upside down. 
Spinning like a top. Got him flipping over me while I'm flipping. And I think I'm going to be stuck on the side of the road here. This has not gone well. So I got pretty brave with that three wide move. And then I just kind of parked it into the back of uh, Denny Hamlin's Dale Doncic car and caused the massive one basically behind us all. So sorry about that, everybody. At least a few million dollars in damage. No biggie. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. And here we go again. Why do I even try? Why do I even try? We can't even make it through the first straight without causing complete and utter annihilation. Brad, I am going to trust that if I get to you, you will not kill me again. No, oh, we almost just smoked whoever that was in the 77. Oh, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes. Come on. Get it a turn. There we go. We gain decent time in that corner when we actually get it right. I don't know how three wide is going to go here. It goes well. I will take it. Here comes the inevitable pileup in this corner. I got one breathing down my neck, and I just get through there. That 09 took it. This is why I start to get kind of nervous, because I really don't know the layout that good past here. It's uncharted territory, and we're both going to blow it. Just wadded it right into him, and we're pirouetting down on the roof. We're going to have to reset. We still got a chance at this. I can't give it away yet by laying on my back like a turtle. We can get back in this. We can keep fighting for it. Got to lay it on the wall if I have to to get to this corner. Got a couple of them crashing. Daniel Emmerich and Danica. We'll sneak by them, get on the podium, and I can see the two in front of us. Oh, there they go. They just wrecked it. They both just ate it into the wall. Come on, Rudiman. There's one. Give me the lead. I can taste the lead. Come here, end finger. I'm going to send it on him. Oh, that's a dip. I didn't see the dip in the track, and we just drive right through him. We wrecked the life out of him. And we're still going to get passed back to second. No. This is going to be close unless he really bends the last corner. He does. He throws it in the fence. He threw it away. And he threw it directly into our hands. A pick six down the last straightaway in the final corner. It all came apart for David Rudiman and it landed in our lap. Once again, before we move on, we're gonna check the replays of how we got to that tub. And it wasn't pretty when we crashed for a lead a couple of times, it felt like, and that was the first one. Then we came down here and got by Rudiman after they wrecked themselves. And then uh, coming up here for the pass on the leader, just sent it into Infinger and then just blasted him with a massive ass pack over the fence and we had to keep our foot in it to stay in it then in the last corner of course rudiman just absolutely blows it and we sneak by for the dub well we conquered one stage of the farmlands but we're not quite done yet we are back for stage three because i remember this one having some pretty sharp corners so let's go ahead and get right into it so let's roll into turn one maybe one of the best tracks for the turn one meme right here and i you're about to see why if you cannot remember and we've been stuffed into it right from the start. That's a perfect example, actually. That works. So let's see if we can get through this a little bit cleaner than we did the last time. And that's not an option. Never was. Maybe we'll get through in reverse. That actually would be pretty cool. All right. First time we got through today in reverse. We'll count that for what it's worth if I don't get flipped over first. But we save it. All right. Keep it moving. Oh, man. I forgot about this sharp corner. I knew it had a couple. I forgot where. And here comes a few more. Man, we're getting smashed. I am laying in a heap, and I don't think they're done yet. They're not. They might be now. Turn one meme. Give me your powers to use for good. This is not for good. This is jacking my ass up. Come on. There we go. We're down on the ground. Alex obeys a ghost, but it's already phased back to reality. Okay. Oh, I got to remember this corner. Don't forget this corner. It doesn't matter what I do about this corner. It's blocked. So we'll hit the reset as I got packed right as the uh, button was pressed. Oh, man. Sliding it through here. That was a little too much sauce on that one. We're going to pull it right out in front of David Reagan like a little beast unless I get turned. And I did. Oh, here comes another one. Yep, yep, yep. I remembered this one. I still overshot it, but I remembered it. Excuse me, Reddick, eat the tree. 
Go ahead and harvest a little syrup for us. We'll be back for you later. Oh, these, man, these corners, they sneak up on you quick. They get you real quick, but I think we're all right. We've got a gaggle of cars to deal with here. This is kind of our chance, and they're bent off. They're bumping into each other. There's nowhere to go. Um, gather it up. Come on. We might have thrown away our chance right there, and I think we did. There goes Jagger, but that's not going to be enough. There's the finish line. We're going to come up just short, and we're going to rock it into David Reagan and Space Force him. See you later. All right, let's prepare for this one. I have a feeling it's going to get blocked again, and we're getting pummeled from behind anyway. Before we even get a chance, we take a massive shot in the mouth. And we made it through the corner technically, but I think we're and we're stuck. Oh, we got one stuck up in the haystacks here. We're gonna clip them. Couple of them we're gonna clip and we're gonna get sent around with that one. And that is just a monumental pile up back there. Look at that. Kinds of junkyard. Oh, watch out. No, 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 no. I... And then we get space forced ourselves. Alrighty. Well. That was just a series of unfortunate events. I don't even know what to call that. I'm gonna check the replay on this one just for the fact that we get absolutely pummeled right here and uh, sent off track where we will eventually become stuck right here. Then we clip that guy stuck over in the haystacks. Clip this guy, number 57. And just gotta clip everybody, basically. And last but not least, 40 pulling back on track. I nail the stone wall and then 57 just with the ass pack of the day right there. Let's see if we can sneak it in on the inside. Not a chance when I got one lifting me up from behind. Tyler Reddick said that's what you get for stuffing me in the tree earlier. You bump, but I'm gonna sneak away. Little did he anticipate. Oh, I'm gonna knock the back end. Not that much though. Oh, get out of the way. There it is. That was a big one. That one registered on the Richter scale. 98,000 G's at least. And I guess we're not done. My poor ass, it doesn't deserve this. Oh, don't get hooked. <laughs> the hooks. Watch out for the hooks. Mr. Krabs warned us about this. Mr. Krabs is getting a lot of references today. I don't know what that's all about, but we could be using his moves right now. Crab walking to the outside lane and getting around those two guys. There you go. Marching towards the corner of death again. Art on the brakes. Not enough, though. Into the hay and into the stratosphere. The spectator area just got bubbled. We went up into the telephone lines. Oh, we got even more brutality going on down here. They never stood a chance. The poor hay. The poor hay was destroyed. What is your move, Kevin? Which lane are you taking? He's taking the inside. It didn't pay off. He's hard in the wall. He has choked. Once again, Kevin Harvick looking like he was going to be the rightful victor. And it snatched away from him. 2020 has not been kind to Harvick, but it's being kind to us. We are in the lead right now. And what a lovely sight as we come up the final hill. That's going to be dub number three of the gauntlet. Thank you, Kevin Harvick, for handing it to me. Well, jumping back in the booth for the final run recap here, we get launched into the telephone lines, knock out the Wi-Fi for the tri-state area. Then we'll see it from another angle here, how it all started here. And it just keeps on piling in. We go flying up into the civilian vehicles, just cars flying everywhere. Real scary sight. If you're a spectator, you should not be here. You just got to do better. Then looking at this pile up from the inside here, you will see a bunch of these guys just overcooking it into the hay. And a lot of them are gonna pay with the health of their car, mostly. And also with time and maybe the health of their body, considering how some of these hits are getting laid down. And a lot of ghosts being created, just, you know, a real death factory down here. Well, keeping on the topic of death factories, how about a track that kind of captures the essence of 2020? We're at rock bottom, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually been a while since we've been here, and this track usually doesn't do too well with stock cars, so God help us all. Well, there's only one thing to do. Just send it down and hope for the best. We're going to land on the middle lane, <laughs> send Brad Malvin into a sky wheelie in his stock car. Usually that's reserved for the monster trucks in Beam or something, but... We survive. We might not for long because this is another one of the danger zones. That will be a pile up forming behind us for sure. 
Watch out, Clint. You got to make that corner, Clint. What are you doing? And Jagger spins it out, too. I'm driving underneath him for the pass, for the lead. We're going to lose it out of control. Clint Boyer back there. Might have had a few too many on the retirement tour. And then Jagger just got inspired and looped it. And now, here, I'll give you a bump draft. I don't want to take the lead and let you come crashing into the back of me on this ramp. No, thank you. That I will take. That was close. Coming back to the spot. That is usually filled with danger cars flipping everywhere. And of course, we crash into some on the middle lane. Let's get this thing turned around. No, got packed into a somersault. Come on. Come on. Let's get around these fools. They're going to get squeezed in the middle of all of them. Oh, yes. Push me up, please. That was help. That was helpful. I appreciate help. Even when it's unintentional. <laughs> or very helpful. This should be an Olympic event. It really should be. Michael, please. Michael self. That's the wrong Michael. It doesn't work. It's not the same. Oh, my God. He just obliterated whoever that was, though. He's clearing the path for me. He is my trusty Steve. Somebody give me the push up here. Come on. Fireball. There you go. Oh, no. Come on. Michael. Michael self. You were supposed to be my trusty Steve, dude. What happened? What happened? What? Yeah. Oh, my God. What actually happened back there? What is going on? Come on, let's, let's get the hell out of here. This is turning into a real scene on this side of the track. It is getting ugly back there. Oh, it's getting ugly down here. This is it. Falling into rock bottom in style. There we go. Imagine being a spectator. Imagine that. What how many billions of dollars it would cost to have this place built. I'm doing it. Oh, oh, this is a failed drift if I've ever seen one. That was, that was like an outtake from Tokyo Drift. That was pathetic. That was actually a waste of everyone's time. Michael Self just will not get away from me. Don't jack me up. Who was it? Who just did that to me? Who do I owe this vengeance to? I swear, if I lose a wheel, I'm going to scream. Just land. Just land. Just please land. Why? How did I just lose so much time? What is going on? How am I going the wrong way? Why are you people ass back at me? Get off of me, you freaks. I know the timing of this track's always been a little screwy, and then on top of it, the lanes aren't even clear, so I'm gonna get knocked offside again. If I have to reset for this again, as we get obliterated, annihilated, and destroyed. This is how they get you. They just make you reset until this keeps happening. Maybe third time's the charm here. Not likely, not likely. Why would it ever? This is actually a just a disgrace i can't even get down these hills without dying so i think we're gonna call this a run all right sending it back down now let's hope that we don't all right i was gonna say hope we don't land on somebody but i've already crushed freaking rudd so that's a bit of a bit of a setback but you know what it's a setback for him not us this however is gonna be very different well that is that is an extreme amount of camera on my front end and I'm, I'm no way in hell going to be getting up here. So let's just reverse now and ask questions later. And yeah, a reset's probably just going to be the best. What else can you say? What else can you argue? We're still inside the top six too, which is, uh, it goes to show you about the strength of field at a track like this when it comes to stock cars. As uh, my stock car has seen a lifetime worth of action in about 50 seconds of this race. Land even, land even, land. This is not an even landing. It never ends at this place. It'll get you anywhere at any time. Oh, oh my ass. Again, Reed Sorensen. I'm just trying to get a running start, and this is what I've been damned to. We don't even have to go up anymore, apparently, so I guess we'll just go this way instead. This race is won or lost right here in this area. It's all about the landing, and that's not a good one. That is not good whatsoever, but we get on the wheels. Come on. Let's build up that momentum. Let's go. Oh, the, somebody's going to get... Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to tumble and smoke me here in a second. Oh, Schrader was in the way. And into Burton we go. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. And there goes all of our momentum. And we're just going to be going the wrong way now. Come on. Come on. Oh, and Clint Boyer cleans us out. The retirement tour. Blasted right through us like a freight train. And and some more from William Byron and cars just flying up. I think we have seen the last of this one. 
Well, let's see what we can do about this one. Try not to land on Brett Moffin again, and we do it anyway. Two for three on the Moffin landing. Just Miss Byron flipping in front of us. And we get up into the top five on the start. Beautifully done. Now we'll take a shot at the lead. Clint Boyer space forces himself. See if we can get down here without this pack spreading across. Squeak through. My God, that was tight. And we're going over. We're paying the price for it. A fairly gentle landing. Come on, let's get it back on the right side before we get smoked. Or we might get smoked here. Oh, from behind. A little worrying there, but we're all right. But we do got to fight for this lead now. It is back on as Bubble Wallace. Yeah, I think it technically Bubble Wallace is in the lead, but the timing and scoring is all messed up again. And we're just going to do a wheelie off of his back end. No, my momentum. No, stop car. Please, please car. Please. I am begging you. Come on. We are right here. Come on. Oh, thanks for the push, Rick. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Bro. Yeah, yes, go ahead and go around. I would have pushed somebody right there. I'm just saying. I probably wouldn't have, but I mean, I would like to say that. Come here, Ricky. Oh, this has worked out poorly for everybody. Ah, Ricky's outside the track. Poor Ricky's on the stairs. Take the stairs, bud. It's better for you. Bubba, gonna hit you out for the lead. Swing it around here. Oh, boy. Make some ground here, fireball. Please get out of the way, everybody. My God, absolutely nowhere to go. It's like a New York City street before the Rona. We're jumping into the danger zone again. Here we go in the crash pad of cars. It's ready to greet us. It's like a stunt show where they jump a car into like a literal crash pad of cars. It's quite uncanny, actually. Get the turning going there. The turning radius is fantastic. Matt Crafton getting Space Force. Now we're taking the stairs ourselves. Come on. We can do it, I believe. I'm going to have to reset, though, aren't I? Yes, sir, Indy. But there's a gap. There's a perfect size gap, and we've got 40 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Matt. We haven't had enough of you. Let's give you one last packing before we get around this one. Watch out. Keselowski, I don't know what he was just doing. I'm going to drive over Matt Crafton. We just cut the corner, and it's giving us credit for it. All right. Hey, I'll cheat the system. That's no problem with me. I would like to get out of the oncoming lane, though. That is getting me a bit nervous, but we are going to do it across the line. Dub number four of the gauntlet is secured. So there you have it back in the replay booth again, observing one of our crash pad landings and... Soaking in our dub before we head to our fifth track of the day. It's going to be a good one. Well, here we are at the Crash Canyon for race number five of the gauntlet. And it will be interesting to see if we can survive this alley of death down here. Off we go with the wheel spin in the dirt. I think this is our first, yeah, this is our first dirt race of the gauntlet. So let's try and make it a good one here on the outside up in the cushion. See if we can squeak around here, sneak through this spot. We got Ryan Blaney going on the other side. That's not going to turn out so well, but he's going to come back in. We're all getting squeezed, man. No. Oh, no. Oh, I'm tumbling. Oh, I just got hit in the roof. Oh, that is bad. Turn me around before I get nailed some more. Oh, I'm getting that. I'm going to get it from both sides now. This is a problem. I think that's my wheel laying there. Indeed, it is. This has just gone all kinds of awry rather quickly. My God, man. I don't think there's any hope for this race now. I think we're done. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is phenomenal. Oh, and they, it even took me out. I didn't even have to quit myself. There you go. Well, we got to look at the replay for that because that just that broke down so quickly. It was going so good and it just turned so bad so fast but i guess that's the wreck fest way in a lot of ways so yeah we did indeed get nailed in the roof there and then oh man they start flipping on the other side and then we just get sandwiched in the middle of two lanes coming head on at each other that was never gonna end well these hits just keep on coming from guys sliding it out way too far and then i can't even figure out which way i was supposed to go we tried to slide it around then we get it finally get it going again only to get pummeled a couple more times and shoved into my death spot. Just leave me a lane. That's all I can ask. Oh, Mark. Mark. Mark's hooking me. 
Mark Martin, you dastardly bum. My arch nemesis from moons ago has lined me up to just get slaughtered back here. The bloodlust obviously still very much there. And this is, yeah. Thank you, Mark. Thanks a lot. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Just push through. Oh no. Turned around and I'm just gonna hope one of these guys will turn me back around. Nope, not at all. Not even a little bit. All right, cool. Neat. Great grand, my god, man. Get back on the ground, will you? Get out of the way. Tire check by Quinn Hoof. Oh, one lane in the middle of the road. Get out of the way. Oh, my god, yeah. I just caught a race car in my face. Literally with my teeth. Like a dog's frisbee. Oh, you guys are flirting with death. They love going towards that middle and then squeezing me is Christopher Bell. You're gonna do it again. This guy can't get control of himself. We've lost officially to Glenwood. One of the great Wood brothers. Fair play. If I'm gonna lose to anybody, why not a legend? Why not? Can we crack the top 10 though? With a crazy, can we? Oh, please let me get a top 10. Let me drive through it. Let me drive through a bunch of dudes for it. And we got it. We did a crazy finish right there, but we snuck in. You saw it. Oh, I'm sliding this thing on the dirt up here. Let's go. I'm looking like Scott Bloomquist out here. But no solo cup. Hold the solo cup in hand. We're just racing this thing. I should get one though. Let's go. Oh, self. Self's gonna squeeze me. Self. We've had a little bit of history today already. We don't need that. Go ahead and get out of here. We'll be seeing you later. Todd Gillen though. He's gonna make sure I don't go unpunished. Oh, we got him bump trapped in the middle of the jumps, guys. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. That's too tight. And up and over we go in the corner of all places. We'll gather that one back up and just drive off. Back to Death Valley we go. That's a pretty good name for this place. Oh, uh, did I just lose the wheel off of that? I think I did. I think I did. I just crashed into whoever that was. I think it was Betty Parsons. Standing straight up and down and just got creamed by yours truly and I'm trying to flip him back over but I can't I'm pretty sure that's my wheel laying right there and yeah this run is over oh wake speed coming right across the track Phil Parsons doing the same everybody get out of the way clear a lane oh Mark Martin up there oh god we're not even gonna get to one before I space force Derek Krause and then I'm gonna launch myself into the dirt kind of saved it oh boy oh yeah Every time with you people. Every last damn one of you morons. Oh yeah, Jerry and A2 just had that thing back right up in the lane. Nothing else but an atomic gas pack could happen. And this is just getting bloody and just, uh, this is turning into an absolute unavailable on YouTube type of video right here. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh no. Oh, come on. Michael Self, what did I do to you? What could I possibly have done? What? Oh, the wheelie though. Peep the wheelie. You gotta look at the wheelie. You gotta look at me going in the wrong lane, upside down and getting space forced into the next lane. Oh my, do I even have hope? No, I have none. This is over. Well, you know the usual time to check the replay of our hopes and dreams being dashed, and this one was quite incredible how we get launched into a series of end-over-end -end flips, eventually to just get creamed by seemingly every car that comes by. Just give me the lane. Oh, all right, I guess we were three wide, but just give me the lane. All I wanted is a lane, and the track to not get blocked right in front of me. Oh, my God. Did I just get Eiffel Towered right there? What is this filth? Actual filth coming out of the game and at, at just unbelievable speeds right into my face. Look at this. Four of them wrecking themselves up here in front of us still, and it's their cross again coming to hit me. This guy's just trying to make me an enemy. I don't want it at all. And I just got hit in the mouth with an Australian man. That's not good. And I've lost the wheel again. Oh! Crushed. Absolutely crushed. Oh, I can't even flip this thing around anymore with three wheels. I think our journey may be coming to an end or maybe it's just beginning. Maybe the journey of pain is just now starting. Here comes the leader, Betty Pars. Oh, is he gonna hit me? I'm gonna get hit by the winner, yes. There you go, at least I got something. 
I feel like this outside lane is getting less and less safe with every run. And there's another dump by Krauss and the gang. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Oh, there you go. Derek Cope just decides not to turn in the corner. Takes out Nadu. And that'll give us a couple of spots. At least we're out of last now. We got that to, I guess, celebrate if nothing else goes right. Ryan Blaney and I fighting our way through. Blaney gets the worst end of that one. And now it is recovery time indeed. Ooh, that one's spinning like a top. Mark Martin putting it out there for the packing. And that, I just got a haircut from a couple of those guys driving over us. That guy wasn't so lucky. He got pounded. And Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, no. Right in the roof again. Oh, my. Look at the damage on my roof. You know what it looks like. I almost don't even want to say it. I get packed. But you know what that was. Oh, stay in the... Oh, please clear a lane. No. Derek Krauss got sent to that wall at, at, at easily at one of the mock speeds. It was not good. Oh, and I'm getting packed to mine again. Three wide in it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Jeremy Mayfield and Bell had me three wide. I'm just going to let y'all sort it out. Rudiman gets the dub. We're packing. Oh, my God. Just took Buddy Baker to my teeth. This. Oh, God. No. Ah, couldn't get out of the way in time. And that one went right in the window net of my driver. We might be looking at a get the tarp scenario. So I better get across the finish line before this gets much worse. And then it immediately does. Of course it does. Just gonna send it in there. Oh, and Kurt Busch is gonna block the lane. It's got that modern NASCAR style race and just put it where they gotta go and they can't get by. He killed my momentum. Oh, I'll put it in the wall by yourself. Oh, did they all just wreck by themselves? What the hell? They all just gave me the lead again, these bums. Oh, keep it over there. Keep it over there. Thank you. Oh, God, that's not keeping it over there. Jeez, I'm alive. Oh, this is not going to go well. Todd Gillen in my lane. Get out of my lane. This is not my lane. <laughs> Sound like Dale Jr. Oh, come on. Come on. Why am I stuck under Derek Cole? Get out of my way. I don't want to reset if this is really it. I want to achieve my glory the hard way. Come on. We're pulling away from Benny now. Mark, get the hell out of the way. We're not playing any kind of games with you. Final stretch. Just gonna send it. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoever you are, you'll be greatly missed because you are definitely dead. Oh, and there it is. Dub number five has been collected and secured. Back into the replay booth here as we are now one fifth of the way through the gauntlet. We will see how we got there and collected our fifth dub. <laughs> it wasn't too pretty when we got stuck underneath Cope. And we go over here and we dump Mark Martin just for looking at us funny and being in the way. Cannot have that in Wreckfest when we are on the brink of victory. And then we smash through the 0-9. He could not stop our victory.